So I gotta play smart. I've been getting dope cheese every time my phone rings. It's so Hi guys, and so obviously today I'm gonna be doing a real verse fake for the Babe T-shirt, and this is the first Camo Shark YT Men's in the yellow colorway and the green colorway. So a lot of people know that Babe is a Japanese streetwear brand, pretty expensive. That's why with anything that's expensive, there's gonna be a bunch of fakes out there. So today's video, I'm gonna be showing you how to differentiate between a real versus a fake shark tee babe t-shirt. That's what we call it, it's got the shark face. So first, I'm just gonna go ahead and say something. When I order my babe stuff, I usually get it from uh, the babe website. From, Cause I'm, I'm in the US, so I get the, I go to us.babe.com and it comes straight out of New York. And then, you know, here's the receipt and stuff. Blood all that, that personal information. And yeah, this is how much the shirt costs. It costs $159. Shipping and handling is actually really overpriced. It's $17.96 for uh, the shipping and handling. So the total I spent on this t-shirt, on the real one, was $176.96. And the fake t-shirt, it was like it was like twenty, it was like twenty eight dollars or twenty five dollars, something like that. So you guys go ahead, tell me what you think, which t-shirt is real, which one is fake. I'm gonna go ahead, just stop talking for a quick second. All right, did you go ahead? You figured it out. All right, so the fake one is on the left. The real one is on the right. So like I said, uh, one of these is a, a size medium, and I think this one is a size large. So we're gonna go ahead and get into like the small details. For example, if you look on the fake pair, you can see that the, uh, the lettering is a lot thinner. It's faded because the shirt has been in the closet under the light a lot, and just been moving around. So the writing is thinner. And if you look at the color for the for the Bape logo, look at the difference. This one, it's like this uh, pale white. It's like this like white, off white color. But on the real one, the face for the Bape logo is like yellow. It kind of matches more of the color for the yellow camo, as you can see. So you just see the difference in the colors. And also on the real one, it comes with a label. It has the actual barcode on there because it's coming straight from the website. So the color is yellow. It has the item number, it's like one e eight zero one zero nine zero zero five, and then right here, then it says "Bape shall never kill ape shall never kill ape." As you can see, the block it's actually block letters. It's not supposed to be. It's not supposed to be this thin font. You see, it should be this thick block font, not this thin one. Same thing with the with the registered trademark logo. Boom, boom, boom. And then let's see on the back, it's just a t-shirt, the zipper and stuff. Let's go ahead and take everything out of the bag. Put all this to the side real quick. We're going to go ahead and compare the, the tags. Boom, boom, boom. Okay, so check this out. Let's look at the tags real quick. On this one, on the fake on the fake T-shirt, it has a, a size sticker on the tag. The real one does not have a size sticker on the tag. It just has, as you can see, you open it up. If you open it up, it says "We Early." It has the Bape tag on here. But on the fake one, I don't know if it has it in here. The Bape one has one too. But as you can see, they're different colors. Look at this. On this one. This looks like more like a, a mustard yellow. A mustard yellow for the bait logo. While this one is like, it's a lighter color. It looks more like tan. So you, could, you can see the difference. Hold on, let me zoom in so you guys can see it. Look at that. One says, we early. And this one, it says, ape shall never kill ape. The real one's supposed to say we early. That's what it's supposed to say. Let me go ahead and put that back in there. Another difference you can see is that the camo is a lot darker for the tag and then it has like a number on there. It's not supposed to have no stickers, none of that. And even the rope is a different color. See that for the tag? This tag is like this dark oak brown and this one is like a just a lighter brown. And the cord is stronger too. Like look, the cord is thicker and stronger. And this one is all thin and wiry. And look, 
Another thing you'll notice is that the fake one, it uses a safety pin. The real one doesn't have a safety pin on it. It just has a, it just has the cord and it's tied around the t-shirt. So right here. And then it's supposed to say 1993 to 2093, but let's go ahead and look at the, the difference in the tag color. As you can see, the real one is like a pure white, and then it has the, the little tan, tannish yellow color on the bape face. But on the fake one, you can see that there's not a lot of details. It's not as detailed for the fake one, and the face is white instead of that tan, tannish yellowish color. And look, the same thing with the font. The font for the fake pair, it's like this thin, it's this thin uh, numbering, not numbering, lettering. And on the real one, it's this thick lettering. You can see the comparison. You see how like the size is a lot bolder? But on the fake, it's not bold at all. So, same thing with the with the bape. This part that says a bape and ape. You can see like the difference between the boldness. Pretty big. Okay, let's go ahead and get into the other stuff too. Look at the zippers on the shirt right here. And if you look at where the eye is, look at this. The the bape over here, the face, you see where the eyes are at? It doesn't even look like that. It doesn't the nose is like it just blurs out. There's no like detail in it. But the real one, the face is supposed to connect into the eye. Cause it's a camo, so everything's supposed to like blend through. Same thing with the with the eye shape. Let's go ahead. You can see the difference in the eye shape. The eye on the real one is a lot bigger. And keep in mind, this is a size medium and this is a size large. So if the if the eye is a lot smaller on the larger size and this one is fake, that should tell you a lot. You can see the difference in the eye shape. A lot bigger. The eye is not even really red. It's more like a it's like a it's like a blood red, so it's a lot darker. This is like the crayon red is all bright and this is darker. Let me just go ahead and put it from a distance so you can see it. And then right here, you can see the print you can see the print on the on the shark face. How this is it's black and it has like this little shine to it. It's kinda of glittery. But on the fake one it's just like this cheap print. It doesn't have any shine on it. It's pretty whack. Look at this. Even on the bottom side, you can see how it shines. The black one is just it's just a flat black. Yep, flat black and has the shine. And if you look at the zippers, they're supposed to be the bait face connect like right next to the zipper. You can see right here on the real one. On the fake one, there's no bait face in the camo. And look at the thickness of the zipper. The zipper like right here. You see the little, the little, little rounded shapes. It's supposed to be big round shapes, and on the fake one, on the other hand, it's thin. It's like really skinny, in comparison. Like it should, it sh the gap between the zipper, it should be very, it should be very small, but on the fake one, the gap between the zipper is huge. Look at that. See how big the gap is compared to this? These are basically, they're basically touching each other. Just a very, very tiny gap. Like you could fit, like you could barely fit a needle through here. I guess we just go ahead, open up the shirt a little bit. So we've got the little paper right here. This is for the real. It's got this little bait paper. Open up the fake one. The fake, the fake one doesn't even have the paper. Look at that. It's missing it. Now let's go ahead and look at the sleeve. Uh, the t it's supposed to be on the right sleeve, the little bape tag. As you can see. Go ahead and bring it close. So this is this is the right sleeve right here. This is the right sleeve. Let's go ahead and zoom in on the tag real quick. Same thing with the tag. As you can see, the tag for the real one is a little bit smaller and it has more detail. This one is like grainy, but then on the real one, it's like there's different shades of brown, as you can see. Like, yeah, the difference between these shirts is very large. Like, 
It's quality. It's all. It's all thin. And on the real one is thick. And look, you can see the tag right here on the inside right here. Like the inside tag. It's supposed to be like this. It's supposed to have the the information. The Baven Ape. Nowhere Co. Limited. This one it doesn't have that. And it's not supposed to be a bape head right here. The fake one has the bape head and glitter. The real one doesn't. See that? It just has these other tags. This one, it should not have the little glittery bape tag right here. This is the fake. So that's another way. You can just look at the tags on the inside. Quality is a lot better on the real one too. The shirt is a lot thicker. I mean, for a shirt that's $159, I would hope so. You know, this is the fake one. So I guess from a distance, the fake one doesn't look that bad. But, you know, when you're rocking it, you can feel the difference quite literally in the quality. So, yeah. So, as usual, is it realistic to be paying for a beep shirt for 159 I mean, if you want the quality, sure. But at the end of the day, it's up to you. <laughs> you do what you want with your money. It's just as long as you're not scamming people, telling them that, hey, this is a, a real babe t-shirt and you're selling it for real babe t-shirt prices. But at least the people that are selling the fakes on eBay and stuff, they're like, oh yeah, these are they're not real, you know what I'm saying? They're, they're fake, basically from the flea market. So yeah, that'll be the end of this video. I hope you guys liked it. And uh, yeah, go ahead and leave a thumbs up. Share this video with all your bape heads. So that way they can tell this between a real versus a fake bape t-shirt. And uh, try and get to 10K right now. We're at 5.87. And I'm out. Peace. Say no jump. You can knock it off. I'm finna stop balling. Swiss, saucin, saucin. These haters on me holding all these grudges, grudges. I'm around the world fulfilling my.